So now in this video, we have an LED. Right now, the LED is being powered. About seven milliamps of current is flowing through it, through that resistor and that LED. The switch is open right now, it's off, it's not contributing at all. When I close the switch, the LED will get brighter. It uh, doesn't really show up on camera terribly well. In person, you can tell a little bit easier. But in any case, it's uh, you know quite a bit brighter right there. About twice the current is flowing through because now we gave a path for another uh, resistor right there. When you parallel components, their currents add up. Ultimately, you get the equivalent of less resistance. When we close that switch, it's like those two resistors become a single uh, 500 ohm resistor. But they're splitting up the power, um, they're splitting up the current, and so they don't get any hotter, or at least this one doesn't get any hotter as more current flows, which it would if we just used a 500 ohm resistor. So this is one way you can have a, uh, a maximum resistance and then get a lower resistance basically right there. Ultimately you could have a lower current and then you increase the current in this case by pressing the button. And this seems to go from six uh, milliamps to seven as the LED warms up. If I hold the button long enough um, that will get to a 13 milliamps and then I think even 14 milliamps at some point right there. Also, you know, maybe we kind of got a loose connection might throw things off um, but in any case you can see that uh, we got basically twice the current right there so we'll zoom back and uh, again this uh, LED so 1k means 1000 right there and uh, LEDs these red ones drop about 2 volts so they don't conduct at all until you get about 2 volts across them and uh, then they do start conducting um, but then they build up about 2 volts. It's not perfect 2 volts. It could be higher or lower um, depending on how much current's flowing through it. Uh, but it's pretty close to 2 volts. But you need to get a certain voltage before it will conduct. So you just use that number when you do your calculation. Um, it's going to drop about 2 out of, in this case, 9, leaving us 7 volts. 1000 ohm resistor, you put 7 volts across it, you're going to get about 7 milliamps of current through it. Um, that's why I use 1000 there. Make the math easy. When we close the switch though, then this, or let's go over here. Now this uh, resistor there also has seven volts. This still drops two volts. It doesn't care, um, you know, how many resistors are coming to it. It just cares how much current's flowing through it slightly. You know, it's still gonna be close to two volts. But in any case, with the two of them put together, now each one of them has seven. Each one of them's uh, seven volts. Each one of them's passing about seven milliamps of current. They're combining to go through the LED right there for a total of about 14 milliamps of current when you close the switch. So that's why it got brighter. So it's really easy um, to uh, take a uh, you know resistor in this case or it, some other current source even, and um, you could just add another circuit that uh, may add current may not add current you know it could be different amount of current too you could do that uh, separately you could have more than uh, one of these parallel circuits too if you wanted to uh, give you even more options but uh, hopefully this all made sense so um, that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video